everybody, welcome to String and Story. My name is Holly Ann Knight and it's my job to guide you to Quilt with Confidence. I am so excited to have you joining me today as we kick off the Quilt Your Own Adventure. So those of you who are familiar with the quilt behind me know that this is the Moda Bake Shop Choose Your Own Adventure Quilt Along from this summer. I still have one last piece border to go and then my solid border, so I'll be working on that this weekend. Um, but as I've been wrapping up this quilt, I've been starting to think about how I'm going to quilt it and I realize this is an awesome opportunity to invite you to join me. Those of you who are inside my Quilting Rockstars group, like Miss Lydia who just hopped on, um, know that we did the Lanterns of Hope quilt along in July, which means we pieced this quilt together and now we're quilting it together and I want to do something similar with this quilt. Um, I'm going to hold my horses for just a sec because I'm realizing I'm diving in and not giving people time to hop on. While you guys are hopping on, make sure that you say hi in the comments. Hi, Jennifer. Um, make sure you say hi in the comments. You can comment on where you are, how the weather is. It's sunny and hot, hot, hot here in Georgia. Um, very hot. I was talking to a friend of mine, Laura, who lives up New England-ish. She's a wonderful metalsmith. The Wild Pine on Instagram, in case any of you are curious. Um, but I was talking with her the other day and she was complaining about the heat up there and I was like, um, babe, I live in Georgia. And she was like, oh, is my northerner showing? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, just just like a, a little bit. Hey, Jordine. Let's see, Jordine, Trudy. Let's see, Katie. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Um, so it's hot here, fortunately, as Laura then followed up and asked, we do have air conditioning. So those of you who live in places that it's not super common to have air conditioning um, and it's hot right now, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ours is like, it has trouble keeping up with the heat. Anyway, I'm way off topic. As you're hopping on, make sure you say hi in the comments so I can greet you as I see your name scroll by. Make sure you take a look, hey Gina, um, at the question of the week that is posted in the caption of this video, which might be above me, it might be below me. It might be to one side or the other, kind of depending on how you're watching. Um, but this week I asked you about what um, what free motion quilting motif you most want to learn because we're going to be doing a lot of free motion quilting here coming up at String and Story. Basically the next two months we're spending lots of time quilting our own quilts. I'm really excited. Northern Ontario, Canada. Okay, so Sue, like what's your temperature outside? Hopefully in Fahrenheit, because I'm not super good at my Celsius conversion, but I can take a guess. I know that 18 degrees Celsius on the air conditioner is what most people like it to be, because it's nice and cold, but I don't like it that cold because I have thin blood, because I'm from Georgia. Anyway, um, so make sure you answer that question of the week. Julie, you are our winner. Last week your name is in the caption, so if your name is Julie, go see if that's you. You won these two lovely cuts of fabric. And I was talking about Lanterns of Hope right at the top. This week I'm giving away a copy of my Lanterns of Hope pattern. Many of you are very familiar with this pattern. Um, if you win and you already have a copy of this pattern, we'll talk about that if that happens. Um, 80 degrees Fahrenheit in Lexington, Kentucky. Yeah, nice and warm. 90s, no AC in it. Oh my gosh. Go find yourself a mountain lake or a river. Cool down to 68. Okay, that sounds okay. Idaho, 113, you beat us. It hit 100 on my car thermometer yesterday. Hey neighbor, hi Winifred, how you doing? Those of you, while I'm thinking about it, Winifred reminded me of this, um, Team Purple. I promise your stickers are on the way. I sent out about half of them today and the rest will be going out early next week. I like, I promise you I checked that I had stickers but then I, I went to send them and didn't have enough. So I've ordered more stickers, they're on their way. I promise it's coming. I promise it's worth the wait. It's gonna be great. So hang in there, your stickers are coming. Um, I spent a bunch of time, all the ad envelopes are addressed and everything. I just have to stuff and send. Northern Lower Michigan, I only, okay, because the mitten plus the, I, okay. I'm with you, Teresa. You're like here, right, on the mitten? Do I have this right? I might have, a, I don't know which hand I need to be showing because my camera is reversed, but okay. All right, I'm gonna dive in because now I'm just like lapsing into being completely goofy. Man, it is super warm, even all the way up in Canada. Teresa, I got it right, yes. Okay, I know, you know, like this much about Michigan geography. I have been to Michigan. If you guys read my introductory post that I put up kind of spur of the moment last night, you know that I've been to 47 states. Um, I have not been to Idaho. Utah or Hawaii. 
which those three states I actually have not been to them at all. Um, but the rest of the states I have at least been to the capital, city, and building. Um, that means there's a picture of my lovely mug in front of your state capital floating out in my family photo albums. Um, <laughs> But many of your states, if you live in those 47 states that are not the three I just mentioned, I've actually driven across because our United States Capitol tour as a family we have done mostly as road trips. So, near Mackinac Bridge. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, Lydia wants to improve her feathers. What other free motion quilting motifs are you guys hoping to work on? Don't forget to answer that question in the comments to be entered to win a copy of Lanterns of Hope. All right, I'm going to dive in. So this quilt behind me is the Moda Bake Shop Choose Your Own Adventure Quilt Along Quilt from this summer, and I've had so much fun working on it. I have one more pieced border to go and then my wide border, so it'll, you know, like fill this screen when it's totally done, or just about. Um, but as I've been finishing up the piecing on this quilt, let me stand aside so you guys can see the lovely star center, um, I've realized that it's time to start thinking about how I'm going to quilt it. And I started working on quilting plans and tossing quilting plan ideas around and thought, oh, I should invite all of you to quilt along with me. And here's the thing. I know some of you just thought, well, but I didn't quilt that quilt, right? That Or didn't piece that quilt. That's okay. Because look here. This is a log cabin variation. This is a sawtooth star variation, you know, with some added bits, but same basic principle. These are nine patches. And the alternate pattern on this are four patches. These are granny squares, flying geese, sawtooth star. All of these are traditional blocks put together in this gorgeous medallion quilt, right? That means that there's something that each of you can learn from watching me quilt this quilt. And we're going to talk about how to take what I do on this quilt and say, okay, well, I did this in my granny squares. How could you do this on a different quilt that has granny squares in it? Okay, well, maybe... Um, you just need to think about half square triangles and how you're going to treat triangles in your quilting, right? So we're going to talk about traditional shapes, traditional blocks, and I'm going to use this quilt as my example. But even if you didn't piece this particular quilt, you can quilt along with me. It's going to be so much fun. So we're going to be tackling this for like the next six or seven weeks. We're going to work our way out. And I'm so excited. Now, some of you are thinking, okay, well, that's all well and good, but what if I don't have any um, experience? free motion quilting. Well, I thought about that too, guys. Um, I'm going to publish my quilting plans each week for this quilt, and there's alternate paths on this quilt, so you could have made this a center Dresden. Um, this could have been a four patch. I don't remember what the alternate to the granny square was. Oh, it was a pinwheel variation. Um, and I'll be drawing out quilting plans for those too, so you'll get to see multiple things, and also it'll give you four patch ideas, etc. And I'm going to do this in three levels. We're going to have the intro level. For those of you who are familiar with my classes, we cover four motifs in Intro to Free Motion Quilting. We cover the meander, the loopy meander, swirls, and switchbacks. So all of the quilting plans for that level that I put up on the blog, we'll use only those motifs plus walking foot lines um, because walking foot lines are great and they're super versatile. Um, and we'll, we'll talk more about them as we go along. So for example, this center star quilted using those four motifs might look something like this. Hey Robin, hi Karen. Now the moderate level of quilting plan that I will suggest, now remember all of these are suggestions if you decide to quilt along with me and you did piece this quilt, you don't have to follow my quilting plan. These are just ideas, inspirations, encouragements, and teaching opportunities, right? So the moderate level will use the 10 of free motion quilting motifs from beginner free motion quilting. And then I'm going to show them to you if I can catch my paper. So here's my top 10 free motion quilting motifs. Meander, loopy meander, swirls, switchbacks, ribbon candy, paisleys, pebbles, wood grain, smoky swirls, and square spirals. I think I got them all. I'm looking at this in my screen, so bear with me if I missed one. Um, plus walking foot line. So there's, you know, 11 motifs that will be used for that moderate option. And the quilting plan. I'm, I'm spoiling y'all for the blog post next week. Um, well, if I can find it, I'll show it to you. The quilting plan using those motifs. Here we go. Nope, that's not the right one. Might look something like this. Right, see I incorporated some ribbon candy, some square spirals. Then finally, Lydia, hold on to your hat because I know, I know you're already excited. The final level of quilting plan that I'll publish is the rock star level. So those again who are familiar with my free motion quilting um, 
Well, my free motion quilting classes know that my rock star status free motion quilting class is my like pulled out all the stops, teach all the things, cover all the motifs free motion quilting class. And a quilting plan using rock star level skills might look something like this. Now you might mix and match these depending on what you're wanting to work on. If you're wanting to work on feathers, here's a few little feathers. Yeah, Lydia. Lydia is one of my official graduated rock stars. She's a pen carrying rock star. Um, and for those of you who are curious, yes, the rock star status class is coming back soon if you are interested in also being an official graduate rock star. Hang tight. Um, so again, another idea for quilting this center medallion, right? So what we're gonna do each week is we're gonna work our way out on this quilt, there's already a um, there's already a schedule up on the blog. Um, the, there's a link in the caption if you want to hop over there and see. And I'm just going to take you through some ideas of different ways you can quilt each of these blocks. Um, yes, beginners can take the rock star class, which I will talk more about in just a second. Um, we're going to work our way out on this quilt, and we're going to talk about just each of these um, blocks and the different motifs that you might do in this. So even if you're not necessarily quilting along with us, I think it'll be very inspirational and educational of how we're doing this together. The blogs will go up on Tuesday so that you can kind of decide which path you're hoping to go for your quilting each week. And then on Thursdays on this live video, I'm actually going to be sitting over at my machine and I'm going to be quilting my quilt and talking y'all through it, talking y'all through how I decided to move around the blocks or move around the borders, um, talking y'all through any kind of hiccups I find as I go along. Anything but feathers, Jody. that's so funny. Ribbon candy is fun. It's a bit of a mind bender, which I guess isn't surprising if you look at it, right? So that's what we're gonna be heading into together. I hope you guys are excited. As we are doing this, um, know that simultaneously over in the Rockstar Status Facebook group, we're quilting Lanterns of Hope. So if you're interested in looking at um, ways you might use motifs on a more modern quilt and especially ways you might quilt bigger, be sure that you're over in the Quilting Rockstars group, which you should be anyway. There's a link um, in the caption of this video to hop over to the Rockstar, Quilting Rockstars Facebook group. That's free and open to everyone. It's called Quilting Rockstars because all of you are inspiring Quilting Rockstars. And I love your work and I love seeing your work. And that group is a place where we share, where we ask questions, and also where we do some special little things like the Lanterns of Hope Quilt Along. So make sure you join over there. There are a couple of questions as you are popping into the group. Make sure you answer those because that's how I make sure that you're human and not a robot and not a spammer, et cetera, because we don't want yucky stuff in the group. This is a nice encouraging things only kind of Facebook group, right? <laughs> um, okay, I'm seeing some comments. Let me make sure I'm answering questions. Big thing is practice. Yes, Lydia, that's exactly right. And yes, okay, to jump back to that question, um, beginners absolutely can take rock star status because that class starts with a review of these 10 free motion quilting motifs. Um, it may evolve some over time, but that's where we're at right now. Because for those of you who already know, like you take intro to free motion quilting and you say, I want to be a rock star. I love this. I want to learn everything. Um, then you can hop into that class. But the practice is essential, as Lydia mentioned. And your biggest challenge if you jump straight from um, intro to the rock star status class is you're going to have to put in a lot of practice on these foundations. These foundations are absolutely essential. Okay, a few other notes on classes and levels. If you have questions about this, questions about how it's applicable to you, questions about anything related to this, um, drop them in the comments and I'll answer them as we go along. But a couple things that come to mind. If you are brand new to free motion quilting and you're like, I really want to start quilting my own quilts. Maybe you even piece this quilt. Maybe you just have tops floating around that you're like, I just really, I need people cheering for me. I need a community. I want to do this thing, but I don't even know where to start. That is why I have the introductory level quilting plans. Um, it's also why I have um, the Intro to Free Motion Quilting class. This is a free class. There are links, as I'm talking about all these classes, by the way, um, Rockstar Status is not currently available. It's coming soon. Um, it has aired once back in the spring and I'm um, updating it and transitioning it onto my new course platform. So it's not currently there. So if you don't see it, don't panic. Um, 
But if you, there are links to all the other classes and all the other things I'm mentioning inside today's blog post, so just click over to the blog. Um, intro is completely free, and it covers those four motifs I mentioned, meander, loopy meander, swirls, and switchbacks. It takes you through setting up your machine. It takes you through, um, will I use multiple threads? Do you mean different colors or different types, Tracy? Type that in while I'm finishing this up. Um, so if you're brand new to free motion quilting, go register for that class right now. It's totally free. You put in your email address to create a um, profile on Thinkific, which is my course platform, and you'll have access to that course forever. That's part of why I migrated over to a course platform so that you guys can have these things and go back to them again and again and again. If you have toyed around with free motion quilting, but you're really wanting to take it to the next level, you really want to become proficient at quilting your own quilts then the beginner, the moderate level that corresponds with beginner free motion quilting is probably the best fit for you. That class is available right now. It's a $25 class. Um, once you buy it, you own it forever. So any updates or additions that I put in there, you will get them over time. Um, and go ahead and jump in and start practicing those motifs. You're going to start, let me grab a practice sandwich. Um, in all these classes, you start on practice swatches, which this is super hard to see for some reason. There you go. Dun, da, da, da. But as soon as you spend a little bit of time popping, you know, bopping around on a sandwich, I want you to be working on a quilt. So that's why I'm doing this, is encouraging you guys to jump onto quilting a quilt and doing it with a group that we can answer your questions, encourage you, cheer for you, etc. All right, these are lots of wonderful questions. Let me see. Um, different colors. Tracy, I have not fully decided yet. Um, I will probably use at least two different colors because I have these navies. Um, I'm doing a black batting for the first time, the Hobbs Heirloom 8020 Black. I'm normally a 100% cotton batting kind of girl, but I really think this is going to need a black bat because I have all that navy, right? Um, also, y'all will notice this is kind of related to the thread thing that we're going to be doing fairly dense quilting on a lot of this. This is very intricate piecing. Um, if you don't want to do super dense quilting, especially if you're working on a different quilt top, that's fine. Just make all the motifs bigger. If you're nervous about that, don't be. I use 100% cotton thread, and typically I use 100% cotton batting. That's why I'm really a stickler for using um, batting with as much natural fiber in it as possible. Um, I'm not really worried about this, though, because Hobbs is such a high-quality bat. But 100% thread, cotton thread with 100% cotton fabric, those things just melt together like butter. So even when you have a good bit of thread and they're close together, you pair that with a high quality bat to give you good loft, you're still going to end up with a really soft drapey quilt when it's all done. Um, I am obsessed with Aurifil thread, those of you who have been around here any length of time know that I'm an Aurifil artisan. I'm actually in training to be an Aura philosopher as well, which means I'll be a certified educator about Aurifil thread. Um, their threads are the best. The color is just impeccable. I absolutely adore them. So I highly recommend using um, Aurifil or another really high quality 100% cotton thread. But I really can't emphasize enough how much I adore Aurifil as a company, as a product, as humans, all of the above. Um, all right. You love wishbones, had to mark little dots to aim for. That's a, Yes, marking little dots is a great way to mark, especially if you're just getting ready. Um, if you're just getting started and you're just needing somewhere for your eyeball to track, that's a great method. On your way working through beginner in preparation for Rockstar, that's perfect. If you already know, and Lori, I don't have an exact launch date for Rockstar yet, but it, it's coming, I promise. Um, if you already know you're going to want to pursue Rockstar status, being a graduated Rockstar status quilter, pin and everything, pin carrying, legit rock star, um, then going ahead and getting yourself into the beginner free motion quilting class is the absolute best thing you can do. Quilting along with us on here, um, quilting along with the Lanterns of Hope quilt along. We just got started, so it's really not too late to jump in. The pattern comes together super quick. And getting those 10 motifs really down in your muscle memory and kind of down in your gut that you can do those on the fly. Um, your practice hours are the biggest differentiator in your free motion quilting game because guess what? Every single one of you can quilt any of these quilting plans that I showed you. Just because you're a baby beginner doesn't mean you can't do the rock star plan. It really does. So if you look at that and you're like, oh, I want to do the rock star plan. I don't want to do the other plan. I love the rock star plan, but I don't know what I'm doing. That's okay because all you need to do is practice. The only thing standing between you and the free motion quilting results of your absolute dreams, maybe even beyond your wildest dreams, is a lot of hours of practice. 
and I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to give you all the tips I know how to give um, to be your number one fan. But the biggest differentiator is not my teaching, though I do everything in my power to be the best teacher I can possibly be. The biggest differentiator is your commitment to doing the practice. And I just can't even tell you um, the progress you can make. It's amazing even 15, 20 minutes a day, how much that adds up. Lydia is a walking testimony to that. Um, Lisa, who is also one of the graduated rock stars, and Kim, those are my four graduated rock stars right now, and all of them began their free motion quilting journey right where you are, and over the course of months, progressed to being absolutely phenomenal free motion quilters. It was not years, it was not decades, it was months of dedicated focus to taking the tops that they'd pieced and turning them into finished quilts. And their work is absolutely gorgeous. Cindy wants to know what I mark with. Cindy, I don't mark very much. <laughs> um, if I'm marking on very light fabric and it's something that I know is gonna be washed, which is basically all my quilts, I'll just use like a number two pencil because then I can see it. If it's darker um, and I'm just doing a little bit of marking, I might use something like a chalk pencil or a ceramic pencil like this. And I just bought let me see where I stuck it. I just bought a Hera marker. I haven't even opened it yet, but I'm gonna be using this to mark straight lines for my walking foot quilting as I'm working on this quilt, and I'll be showing you guys how to use it. So I do very minimal marking. However, I've heard so much great stuff about the Hera, um, and I really want my straight lines to be straight on this quilt, so I'm gonna use a ruler and the Hera marker um, is my current plan, and I'll be keeping y'all posted on how that works and how I like it and all those good things. Um, will I be offering more free classes? Um, probably not. Intro to free motion quilting, at least as far as free motion quilting classes go. Um, intro to free motion quilting is kind of my very baby beginner class. It's the quilt that allows, or the class that allows you to get to know me as an instructor and see the kinds of things that I'll walk you through and how I approach my teaching. Um, it also gives you a great, um, it also allows you to kind of get used to me in terms of you can jump into the Quilting Rockstars Facebook group and be asking questions as you go through Intro to Free Motion Quilting and see how I'm going to answer that question, those questions, how I'm going to cheer for you, etc. Um, but in terms of further content being free, I mean, I do these videos every week. These are mini classes. I blog for you guys every week. So I put a lot of free educational content out. But as far as my free motion quilting classes beyond intro to free motion quilting, the beginner class, the rock star class, and oh, I forgot to tell you guys how to make a quilting plan. So how to take these motifs and make a quilting plan of your own. We'll be talking a good bit about that as part of this series, but I have a whole deep dive class that will be relaunching here in the next couple of weeks. So that class beginner, rock star status, all of those are paid classes. Um, this is my job after all, right? So I want to give as much to you guys as I can. I want to give you all, all the encouragement, all the cheering, um, but I don't have any more free, um, free evergreen classes planned at this time. Like I said, I do a free class right here every Thursday morning for you guys. Rhoda, you'd love to learn ribbon candy. I love that you've wondered about that, about black bats, Lydia. Me too. So when it was time for me to go and look for a batting for this, I was like, well, let me just kind of dig through my batting stash and see what I've got. And I found this and I was like, yes. Cause I was like, oh yeah, I hadn't really thought about that with all this Navy, but I think it's going to be really important. Hey Sam. You would start with the meander motif as the beginning. I think, I think that's a great place to start. Start at the very beginning, a very good place to start. There we go, okay. More paisleys, I love paisleys. Hearts and flowers, I love that, guys. What other questions do I have you for you? Um, I can't talk. What other questions do you guys have for me? Um, are y'all excited about this? Are you excited to dive into free motion quilting and quilt with confidence? I really want this to be a fun um, endeavor. I want this to be something that there's a lot of dialogue. Um, the Quilting Rockstars group, as you get started, especially if you're not doing this quilt, you can post pictures of the quilt you're going to be quilting. Um, in that group, if you want feedback or ideas or inspiration about how to quilt your quilt, how to take some of these motifs and put them on, um, this is going to be a fun series. I'm really Really excited y'all also if you've been around you know that behind the scenes I am working on my fall winter pattern collection I'm really really excited about that so when we finish quilting this and finish quilting lanterns of hope inside the Facebook group it'll be time to launch into all the excitement of some new patterns so there's all kinds of wonderful things going on I love meeting with you guys each week thank you for allowing me to do um, 
a bit more of an introductory uh, video for you guys today. I know this is not as deep dive into teaching content as I often do, um, but this is something that I thought would be, it's, I'm, the way that I'm doing this is complex enough that I felt like it was worth jumping on a video and talking you guys through it. So just as a quick review, each Tuesday I'm gonna be putting up a blog with some recommended quilting plans, some quilting plan ideas and inspiration for you guys. And on Thursdays I'm gonna be actually quilting on my quilt and teaching you guys about how to move around a quilt, um, how to maybe do things like thread colors, thread changes, how to handle a big quilt on a domestic machine. Some of you guys saw I did get a new machine. I'll be talking more about that soon. Um, I'll probably be talking about it some tomorrow night inside the Quilting Rockstars Facebook group, but I'll actually be doing a review of it here in a couple of weeks, and I'm super excited about that. So Tuesday's quilting plans, Thursday's quilting time together with just as much content in that and tips and tricks as I can possibly give you. Um, there was something else. Oh, if you're a baby beginner, go ahead and jump inside the free intro to free motion quilting class to get your very basics and foundations for free motion quilting under your belt. That's a great thing to do over the next week as you're waiting uh, for this to officially kick off and for us to start quilting together. If you are ready to take your quilting to the next level, go ahead and jump inside beginner free motion quilting, um, which is up and ready and waiting for you with my 10 top free motion quilting motifs. And for the record, those of you who are like, I want to be able to quilt my own quilts, but I'm not super interested in being a rock star quilter. I'm not super interested in knowing all the things. I just want to be able to quilt my quilts. Beginner free motion quilting is the perfect class for you. You can finish any quilt you piece with the 10 motifs inside beginner free motion quilting. And if you are an advanced quilter, a confident quilter, someone who's here for the community and here for the fun, there will be the rock star level quilting plan for you, which is going to be very, very exciting. Um, all right, I got some more questions. So, what needle pulling thread? Yep, exactly. Took intro and improved. Now you'll take the beginner class. I love that. Yes, please, Deanna, come take beginner. I know you're excited about the new patterns, Lydia. I'm excited about the new patterns. <laughs> Um, Teresa, yes, there will be another quilt along. Teresa, you're just getting me to jump all kinds of ahead. Um, the plan is that there will be another quilt along probably in October in anticipation of the new pattern releases. So I haven't ironed out all the details yet, um, but there will be some sort of quilt along leading up to those pattern releases. I'm very, very excited about it. No, Teresa, it's fine. I'm giving you a hard time. I don't mind. I don't mind showing my hand a little bit of the exciting things that are coming. Um, I want you guys to be excited. I want you guys to be excited. So we're quilting next month at some point. Not, I know it's not the first week. Hopefully the second week of the month, Rockstar Status will be relaunching, which means we'll also have a graduation in October. Eee! I'm so excited. Um, those of you who got to watch the graduation in the spring, you know that we had balloons. We did a whole big deal um, because putting in the time to be a rock star quilter, um, to work through that class is worth celebrating 100%, right? Let's see. Uh, had your quilter's dream repaired. You do piecing on it now. Now you can use your juice key seed for free motion quilting. That's so cool. Um, yes, you missed out on later stuff. Don't worry, Teresa. It's coming. There's more quilts. I love doing quilt logs with you. How can I possibly not do more quilt logs? This has been like the best party of the summer, right? Uh, Y'all know I've been like super quilt along happy because I've been doing the Moda one and hosting my own, right? All right, guys. Any further questions? Last call for questions, and then I'm gonna hop off. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to drag this out too long for anybody. Um. You're not quite sure what would look nice. Well, Amanda, you're in the right place because we're going to be talking about motifs that look nice on all kinds of different patchwork blocks. You're in the perfect place. Something else we'll be talking about at some point, guys, but I haven't decided when yet is continuous curve quilting. That's, you know, where the, it's like the, well, that's the only way I know to describe it, but you're able to do it with everything connected and you end up back where you started. Um, Dory Hruska over at Forever Quilting is fantastic at continuous curve design so we'll do a little tiny bit of that at some point in here um which is not actually well i think let's see we lydia we did a little bit of continuous curve in rockstar i think um but it has not been in beginner or intro it's probably at about a beginner level on the most kind of basic 
at its most basic level of a basic continuous curve. It would fall in that beginner moderate level. So I will be teaching a little bit on that as we go along because I think that's something that's just really useful to have in your back pocket for patchwork quilts because um, it looks a little bit more custom than a meander, but it's not a whole lot more complicated, especially on something like these granny squares, right? Okay. Um, yes, Lydia asks, are we on for tomorrow night in the Quilting Rockstars group? Yes. If you are not a member of the Quilting Rockstars Facebook group, go join as soon as we're done here. Um, we want to have you. You are part of the fun. You're part of the party. So come join us. Make sure you answer the questions um, that I ask when you request to join so I know you're a human and a quilter and not like a robot or a creep or a spammer, right? So because you're a quilter, we want you in. But do answer those questions. I won't let you in. I will not let you in unless you answer those questions, you hear me? Um, so tomorrow night inside the group at 8.30, I'll be live like this, except I'll be sitting over there at my new sewing machine and we'll be talking a little bit about that. Um, and I will be um, quilting ribbon candy on Lanterns of Hope. I'll talk you guys through it. We're working on our skills, um, not only of these top 10 free motion quilting motifs that I mentioned, we're working through um, we're not working through the beginner class together. You have to purchase the beginner class separately in order to get the under the needle tutorial, but we're executing it together, right? So what we're doing with that is it's like, okay, well, if you're working on these motifs on a big quilt on a small machine, how do you make that work? So we're working on our skills um, as far as our quilting practice of how do I maneuver a big quilt? How do I move it around? How do I ease the tension in my body? Um, and so by the end of the next few weeks, we're gonna have a finished Lanterns of Hope quilt, which is really exciting because the full size Lanterns of Hope quilt, for those of you who pieced it, is twin sized. So you're piecing and quilting a twin size quilt in about a month and a half, which is really, or two and a half months. July, we piece it August, and baby beginning of September, um, we're quilting. So, very exciting. Um, yes, Cindy, I'm so glad that you'll be watching. You wanna learn some easy feathers? There was another question I was going to, yes, Gina, I think that's probably what you're referring to. If I'm picturing the same thing you're picturing. Yes, yes, yes. I hope you've been inspired. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you for joining me. I'm gonna let you guys go. I'll be back tomorrow night inside the Quilting Rockstars Facebook group at 8.30 p.m. Eastern to work on Lanterns of Hope with you guys. And I'll see you on the blog on Tuesday as we get ready to quilt our own adventure. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, especially for those of you who are new, welcome. Um, this is a little bit out of the ordinary that we did kind of a Q&A welcome video, um, but thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you back. I hope to inspire you to quilt with confidence. I'll see you soon.